Hey guys, Chef Shea Bear here. Today, well tonight, we're going to be making these steaks out on the grill. Stay tuned. We'll get on that in just a second. Okay guys, we've got our steaks here. Excuse me, we're going to make them out on the charcoal. I got charcoal outside getting ready. Um, I didn't show the seasoning process of this is because everyone does it different and you can do it your own way. Season it however you want. But I'll tell you how I did this one. Uh, I did my rub. Uh, I used seasoned salt, lemon pepper, salt, pepper, uh, some garlic powder. Um, and then... I rubbed it down real good. Well, first, first I tenderized it. And then I rubbed it down real good with that. And then I marinated it in Italian uh, salad dressing. It's been marinating now for a couple hours. So, um, it'll be ready to be put on the grill here in just a minute. Now, I'll show you what else we're going to have uh, with this. Okay, this is what we're going to have with it. We're going to have um, baby bella mushrooms. We're going to have red pepper, orange pepper, yellow pepper, the bell peppers. They're, they're sweet, they're not hot. And we're going to have an onion. I'm going to get these chopped up, and then we'll, we'll once, once I get it chopped up, we'll put it in the pan, and we're going to start this to cook. While, and then once we start this to cook, we'll uh, go out and we'll put the steaks on. Okay guys, our grease is hot. I'm going to start off by putting in the onions. Now, you, a lot of people will dice them, you can slice them, just cut them up, cut it up however you want. This is just one large onion, and I know that looks like a lot of uh, mushrooms there, but really it's not because we all know how they shrink up, so. Uh, so we're going to put this in here. Let it get started. There we go. Nice. I'm just going to let them brown for a second. I'll tell you what I've done. What I usually do is... Uh, A little bit of water in there that really makes the flavor pop and the next that the next thing that will go in is going to be the mushrooms and we'll let the mushrooms uh, cook in there and then we'll put the uh, we'll put the peppers in last because uh, they, they don't take as long to cook and I want them a little more flavorful and and not as uh, not as well done and plus it'll give it a uh, more of a color so let's put these in here and then it'll be time to go check the coals on the fire to see if they're ready yet okay so. now of course, you're going to want to season these. Just season them however you want to season them. It doesn't matter. Let's do a little lemon pepper. It doesn't take a lot of this stuff. Uh, we'll get a little bit of seasoned salt. Again, not a lot. Uh, just to taste. How, however you guys like it. How about a little garlic? Yeah. Alright. There we go. Now we're going to let this uh, let these cook up a little bit here. Well, actually, cook down. They'll shrink up. So we're going to let them do their thing. Now you can also put a stick, of, <coughs> excuse me, a stick of butter in here as well. But it's up to you. Again, d have fun with it. You know, do do it your way. Do however you like it. Okay. All right. So we're going to go check. Uh, we're going to go get ready and put the steaks out onto the grill. 
Okay guys, we're back. Now, usually I like to cook stuff in direct heating, but out here, it's right over top of the coals. Now it's going to cook slow. We like our meat uh, medium. I kind of like mine medium rare sometimes, but she likes hers medium, so that's when we'll make them. And this grill is just one of the grates off of the barbecue grill. There we go. Now my barbecue grill, I never clean it right after I cook. I clean it before I cook. So what I did was I let it get real warm and then I went ahead and cleaned it off with my brush and stuff. So we're going to let this cook for a few minutes on each side. I'm not sure how long yet, but uh, we'll give a few minutes and we'll, we'll go from there. A lot of guys, they'll season, they'll, they'll um, char it like on a skillet or something like that. Uh, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. So let's just see, let's see what happens here, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll leave them on there for about four minutes. I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, we're back. Now these are just about done enough. Like I say, it's like anything else. You 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 know, do it to the way you like it, the way your tenderness is. There's no right or wrong way other than burnt. And if you like burnt, that's not even wrong. See. When I added that little bit of water, I'd say probably a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half maybe. Uh, you can see like it makes like a nice little gravy. So we're going to go ahead and put our peppers in right now. And we'll get them mixed up in there. I did add salt and pepper. Uh, I did add a half a stick of butter to it. So Look at the colors on that. I don't didn't have a green pepper, but that's okay. That's okay, there's plenty of colors in there. Now right now I've got it on uh, medium low, so, cause I do not want to overcook it, and I'm cooking it with the, uh, with the lid off. A lot of people will cook it with the lid on, but I find that it gets, like the peppers and the onions, uh, they get a little, little too soft. You know, they get, uh, you know, just like they're more, they're, they get too done. I like, I like the crispness. It's not as, uh, the crispiness of it. It's not as crisp if you leave the lid on it. So we're going to let that cook. We've got a few more minutes and we're going to go out and check the steak. So, Okay guys, sorry for the smoke. But let's, uh, let's flip these now. It's been about four minutes. Yes. Cooking nicely. Now, if you want your steaks medium, you're going to want them about 160 degrees in the center so now we're going to let these cook for about another four minutes and I'll just keep doing that until I get the temperature that I need okay guys these look like they're just about right I remember 160 degrees in the middle of one of these is going to be way too too done so what you want to do is kind of just cut into one and check for the pinkness if you check it with the thermometer you really can't get an accurate reading, but you can get an idea of what the meat looks like. We're going to take these off, and we're going to take them in the house. And just like anything else, I'm going to let these rest for five, seven minutes. And then we'll cut into one and see what it looks like. Okay. Now we're going to cut into one of these and let's see what it looks like, okay? I let them rest, uh, it's probably been, mm, I don't know, about eight minutes. So let's... There we go. See the, can you see the color of that? It's, it's maybe a little bit more done than what I wanted, but yeah, it's fine. It's it's got a little pink in the middle. Um, let's check hers out. Yes, yeah, see, a little bit of pink. That's medium right there. Like I said, I want mine. I like mine medium well, but um, that's fine. Either or. And also, right here, guys. 
this as you can see see now if you want you can strain that out and make a gravy to pour over top of your steaks uh, I'm not going to do that tonight but as you can see it's very colorful very nice I got it on warm so everything's ready I'm gonna get monkey out here and we're gonna have her uh, give this steak a try okay monkey give this a try and see what you think of it okay it's not made with real wood I know but mm. that's just charcoal mm -hmm. turn out good mm -hmm. okay there you have it mm -hmm. thank you monkey mm, you're welcome babe I'm ready to eat okay okay guys there you have it uh, we just made some mushrooms and some peppers and onions and um, some steak out on the charcoal on the ground so um, there you go it's another segment of Chef Shade Bear and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and if you have any tips or tricks or hacks uh, feel free to put them down below in the comments and we'll share recipes or whatnot through these uh, this is a new playlist I've got Chef Shea Bear so um, hopefully I'll see you guys soon in the next one thanks for watching have a great weekend guys and we'll see you soon Shea Bear I'm gone bye bye now